business plan. At this rate, mm. I'm going to ask you to adopt me. <laughs> Why? You have my sister's your mother. So that I can drink milk every afternoon. Ha! We shall look into that later. Thank you so much. You are not welcome. You are also welcome to tell me about your business plan. Business plan? Mm -hmm. I don't have one yet, but when I will be coming back to you to ask for funds for my business opportunity, I will definitely have one. Okay, so how will it look like? Well, I only know that a business plan is written and it concerns the business. My dear, that is so vague. Can you be a little detailed, please? That's all I know. Okay, then you need some educating so that your business plan can be acceptable to anyone. For heaven's sake, even me, your uncle, cannot accept such little information. Well, I can listen to you as I sip my milk. What is it about? Now, call it a roadmap for your business, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. It is a document that should be outlining the aims and objectives of your business, as well as the activities you'll be taking to achieve them. Mm-hmm. It should contain the history of the business, the current situation, and the future plans. Wow, so much details. Mm -hmm. It is not easy to turn someone else's money to be yours. Young lady, you will have to do a lot of work to make that happen. The plan must also be able to clearly communicate ideas to the targeted reader. In this case, you. Mm -hmm. Yes, me. But it should also communicate to you any financial institution, as well as anyone interested in the business. A business plan must be a very important document then. Yes, it is, considering the number of ways in which it can be used. From the list of people who might want to view the plan, mm -hmm. I believe that the first use can be to obtain loans from financial institutions. Correct. And of course, it will be the guideline for the opening of the business since it details all the activities of the business. Correct again. Aside from opening a new business, a business plan also guides an already existing business on how to move forward. Thanks for the addition, but I was not done yet. No problem. Go ahead. You know, I am only using what you have told me so far to derive the uses of the business plan. And so far, you are doing so well. Thank you. It is a plan that communicates to outsiders the objectives, goals, and activities of the business. Mm -hmm. It can be used to identify the strengths and weaknesses of the business. And finally, it can be used as a tool to control planning because it involves setting of standards. Wow, you are a very keen student. Now, to add to your list, a business plan can help the entrepreneur outline the competition. It can also be used as a tool for management. Okay. The progress of the business can be evaluated through the plan and generally the employees will be motivated too because there is a clear outline of everything taking place. So, how exactly does a business plan look like? Mm, well, it has a pretty simple structure and by the way, at the end of this, you are going to make me a sample business plan on any business of your choice. Yes, sir. So. Of course, it must contain the name of the business, mm -hmm. followed by the products or services that are being offered by that business. Yes. Next, a business plan should outline the human resources that will be needed in the business. And by that, you mean the ranks of the employees? Yes. This is followed by the financial resources needed, the market intends to serve, and finally, a summary of the plan on how you intend to run the business. Sounds pretty simple. I'm definitely going to make one. Great. So, a business plan is of great benefit, both for the entrepreneur and for the business itself. Start with the entrepreneur. For one, it helps the entrepreneur figure out how their business will work. Which is a great help moving forward. Yes. The entrepreneur will also be exposed to planning and budgeting in the process of making a business plan. And this will definitely come in hand when running the actual business. Mm -hmm. Next, the entrepreneur also has a reference material to guide him in the decision-making process since his original idea for the business is outlined in the plan. And finally, it helps an entrepreneur to avoid a business that will fail. How is that possible? Well, because any mistakes made in the drawing up of the business plan that can lead to business failure can be identified and corrected. I see. Mm. 
And the benefits to the business itself? Oh, there are plenty. First, introduces the business to the outside world, mm -hmm. which makes it number one requirement for a successful business. Mm -hmm. It will also help to guide the management in making decisions during the daily operations of the business. Just like it helps the entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And it also establishes financial needs of the business and all the possible sources of funding. And lastly, it helps in resource allocation. Thank you. Finally, there are benefits related to the employees. I can guess one. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. If I worked in a system where everything is outlined nicely, yes. I would be really motivated to work because I know the direction in which the business is headed and I can follow suit. That's very true. In the planning for the business, you can identify the number of employees you'll need, the skills and qualifications you want them to have, and the tasks they will perform. That's great. A business plan can also help you identify potential customers, the right price for your products, promotional activities as well as distribution channels. Are you now ready to make me a business plan? More than ready. Can I borrow a pen and paper? Not so fast, kid. You have the whole weekend. Go home and come back with it on Monday. Sour, sour.